Peace, fam. Hey, 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 hey. What's going on? Did that this morning. Uh, come on. Uh-oh. Somebody up. Who up? Peace, fam. Good morning. Good morning. We're about to do our toast. Um, I got to use a small glass because I'm looking for my glass. I'm assuming my kids destroyed it. Uh, we will be doing the show tonight. I have my assistant speaker. We got a new speaker to replace the old speaker. It don't light up like the old one, but we're going to make it work. Um, so we should be doing the show tonight. Um, so bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Let's get it. Let's get it. Who out there? Let me see if they can tell me. Uh, what's up, brother Kwame? What's going on? Uh, they allowed me to flip the camera back so you can see. Well, there's a wider angle now. So, uh, I want to say great cootie chat lead to everybody. Um, I'm sorry that me and brother Kwame was kind of not in the mix. You know, brother Kwame, we was in that workshop and the whole world seemed to be blowing up and shit. You know what I'm saying? I come out finding out, you know, the uh you know, the the the, the nationalists, the white nationalists is just the West Asians is just going crazy, right? Shit. You know? So this gets into why we got to be prepared, why we got to be in shape, why we got to have certain skills, you know what I'm saying? This is why, right here, right? Because uh man and I know a lot of people are upset about uh, the president not coming out and, and, and condemning them immediately and, and stuff like that. But you know, what you, I mean really, what, what you expect, you know. So um, today is Kuji Chakalia, it's their self-determination, right? Uh, thank you for sharing, Brother Kwame. Um, also, the modern principle today is justice. Good morning, Brother Hazian. Um, the uh, Hermetic Law Court is correspondence. If he was born on this day, this is my day. This is my day. Oh, man. All right. Well, I'm about to fast. Uh, okay. All right. Because I just put some, uh, I just made some, uh, oh, it's great, man. Uh, Elder. And that's how she kept us up there when it was, yeah, she, she mentioned it. But, you know, I, yeah, you're right. All right. So, male name today, today's male, if you was born on the day like me, today is Kwabana. Female name is Abana. Right? So now, we are, if we are looking at the emotional emancipation um, in Wolof, the term today is cursa, means self-respect and respect for others. Um, a con, generosity and ben beneficence. Um, traditional Yoruba attributes of good character. Ifarab, ifarble, ifarbale, or ifar, ifarbe, bell, calmness. Sorry for slaughtering that. All right, so. There's something that I wanted to share. That I need, I think it's very important for a lot of us to realize. So, I'm going through the Emperor's Handbook. Right? And Homeboy saying a lot of good shit, right? But now, just because you're reading a book don't mean that you have to necessarily agree with the philosophy of the person that you're reading. You understand what I'm saying? Like, for example, um, a lot of stuff is happening in the mind for him. It's the mind controls everything, like, even with the hermetic, hermetic laws. Um, all is mental, right? Which, once again, separates the universe into pieces once again so all of his mind and everything else is just a manifestation of the mind when in fact as African people 
we believe in a holistic peace, right? But this doesn't mean that because we believe in a certain thing, we have to limit ourselves to only study those things, study things that go along with that. No, it's good to kind of expand your view. So, um, in, in his book, he gives some powerful characteristics but I want, I need for those of you that be checking in on me to understand and be able to distinguish what's being said. Because I'm not really sure that a lot of us can really, we don't understand when we read sometimes that shit just don't apply to us. And what I'm trying to make clear is that when we when we're studying and we're studying like we're studying like you the prince or we're studying like uh some of the 48 laws of power right and some of the people that's in it because you get into books like that and you start researching individuals that the book um that may have inspired the book and you read some of their writings right I need you to understand that when they are talking, they're not talking to you. Uh, all right, here we go. Here we go one. A man's soul abuses itself in a number of ways. First and foremost, by becoming as much as it can a cancerous growth. Form body in the universe. Complaining against the nature of things is a revolt against nature, which is made up of all the natures of its many parts. Second, it does violence to itself when it scorns another man or seeks to do him harm out of anger. Now, I'm I'm, I'm come back to I'm, we gonna I want I want to focus in on that for a second. Third, it's wrong itself. It wrongs itself when it yields to pleasure or pain. Fourth, when it wears a mask and speaks or acts falsely or insincerely. Fifth, whenever its actions and efforts have no apparent purpose and cause it to operate at random and without consequence, for even the slightest acts should have some end in mind. The end for all rational beings, listen, is to obey the reason and law of the one hallowed city and republic. Brother I tell me what he said made sense, but I need y'all to pay attention. Right? You are not included in this shit. We need to understand that when we're studying other cultures and we're studying other peoples and we're studying ancient writings, like this motherfucker wrote this while he was at war with Germans. He was expanding Roman territory. And he says something. Um, second, it is, does violence to itself when it scorns another man or seeks to do him harm out of anger. Now, what he's talking about, he's talking about other men in his culture. Right? I'm with... I'm with love, family. I'm with us spreading love. I'm with us being in love. I'm with us. Uh, I'm with it. Right? But the love has to start with us first. This is why. This is why. This is why. Because everybody else does that. Anything that is open to everything becomes nothing. Let me say that again. Anything that is open to everything becomes nothing. Now I'm saying open your mind. I'm saying study. Right? But what I'm also telling you is to hold on to the essence of who you are. There's nothing wrong with that shit. You see what's happening down.
You seen what happened in Virginia and what's starting to spark up all over the country. Motherfuckers are holding on to who they are. And we're going to approach, some of us are going to approach that from a very dangerous standpoint. And the standpoint is that everybody is the same. Oh, we're very similar. We're very similar. We're similar like the pit bull and the chihuahua. We're similar like the greyhound and the poodle. We're similar, right? Yeah, we could we could cross, but it's very clear that a poodle is different than a pit bull. Not one is better than the other, but they're different. They serve different purposes. And when one tries to be the other, like for example, if I take a poodle and I drop it into a pit for a dog fight, it's more than likely that that poodle will never see daylight again. And if I drop a put if I drop a pit into one of the little fashion shows that a French poodle might be in, the fast show might not never be the same again either. So the piece that I'm trying to get to you is family. Love of self first. Actually, there could be no other love. There could be no other love. You can't respect others if you don't respect you. Now you can fake it for a little while. But eventually the disdain you have for yourself will spill over into other people. You don't care how much you love them. You can't love others more than you love you. And if you do, that's sick. Alright, so let's get our water, family. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go off on that. So today on the day show, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do some reading. I'm I've been doing a little bit of research. I'm gonna share some information that I found about um, the great American eclipse that's going to be going down. On August 21st. That's the Nemoja family. Now, for those that don't know, the symbolic, the the the, the spiritual symbolism of a of an eclipse or the what an eclipse means, you might want to tune in. I'm going for my 32 ounces, family. Get your 32 ounces. Actually, I think I'm about to go out and buy me a bunch of water and shit. You never know. You never know. You never know. Right? So, I got a fast coming up. Around the end of this week, I'm fasting into the uh, into the eclipse, and I'm suggesting that family, whether you fast, you do something to help guide the energy that's that's going to be coming. Because for those, I mean, just just a little piece of the eclipse piece. The eclipse symbolizes the end of something. Might, you know what I'm saying? We're coming to the in your life as a group of people, as a nation. We're coming to an end of something. And you need to kind of use this energy to push any bullshit out your life that you might not want at this point in time. And you may need to prepare yourself for some type of uh, shock because sometimes some of the things that end. You know what I'm saying? It could be kind of drastic. And because it's such a public, because uh, eclipses are not as rare as people try to make them make them out to be. Like last year, I think we had like four, get like four a year. Like um, a couple of years ago, we had one that, we had one that was, uh, we had seven in one year. I mean, you don't get to, see, you don't see them all. But they're not as rare as people act or, but this one, the rareness of this one is that 
a lot of us may be able to see it because it's coming across America. Usually it'd be in like uh, spaces where we don't get to see it, but uh, eclipses happen. So we about to get, we, you know what I'm saying? We about to get some positive energy. Those of us that know how to direct this energy. This is the universe releasing some energy. And if we know what, if you, if you start directing that ashe, right? That's what life cares about, right? Directing the ashe that's going to be coming. It's going to be, it's just out here. It's going to be out here, right? You got a, 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 a rare event for you, right? Because the last time, an eclipse came across America like this. They say it was a hundred years ago, right? I remember an eclipse when I was at Ohio State. Blew my mind. Alright, so we're going to end it on that one. Alright, bros, we about to toast. I want to thank y'all for, uh, I mean, you know, I want to thank y'all for, for for joining me. So I'm going to finish this one up. We're going to pop this top. Now, those of you that want me to invite you to the morning toast um, early in the morning, because some, some people got the discipline to get up, other people don't, and they need a, a nudge. If you want me to wake you up, just leave it on the timeline. Brother, I tell invite me, because I want to try to be up for the, the daily toast, and you just need to get up early anyway. Me and Brother Kwame up, right? Sometime I see him. Uh, you know who you know who missing? I I be missing Miss Sheila, man. All right, but here we go. This is that uh, experimental. I think this is an experimental root beer. We about to see. Now, one thing is clear to me that in order for me really to 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 ship either I need to do a root based or a when I do fruit I don't think I'm gonna ship fruit I think fruit is going to be a local thing because when I did the fruit oh my god I take that back because sometimes that that the blow up and other things start to happen. So we about to toast. I got a different glass, so it might sound a little bit different, brother Kwame. Um, so I learned in my many years of raising young people that when you come downstairs and you can't immediately find some shit that you know you left somewhere, it means that your kids got to it and broke it. I got something bacon. I know I was supposed to be fast, but I forgot today was. Um, um, Kuji Chagalia. So I put some stuff in the oven. So y'all know I ain't gonna fast today. So I'm still experimenting with the sourdough. As you can see, it's gonna burn my hand in a second. I'm still experimenting with the sourdough. Cradle theories, laughing out loud, word. So, there's something I put together last night for this morning. Um, peanut butter, chia seeds, blueberries, bananas, uh, oatmeal, super dough. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just experimenting. So here we go. 
brother says, northern and southern cradle theory. Yeah, so here we go. Dang, this is sparkling, man. All right. So we lift up our glass and we salute the creator by whatever name we choose to call the creator. We call that great energy down on us. You know what I'm saying? We call it around us because many of us are in um, hazardous situations. So we ask the creator to go out before us and to protect um, those of us that are out there on the battlefield and those of us that are not. So we lift up our glass and we call that creator by whatever name you choose to call it creator and we say our shape. And right now we move to salute our ancestors. We call on our ancestors, you know, because some of us think that these days are hard, but when we really look at what our ancestors went through, this is a walk in the park, family. It's hard for us. I don't want to negate that. I don't I don't want to I, I don't want to belittle the struggle that many of us are going through right now. But I do understand from a historical standpoint as far as as as, as black folks right we are in a great time and the one thing that's missing right the one thing that's missing is the wisdom of our ancestors right we, we need to start adding that to everything that we're doing right boom so we lift up our glass we call on our personal ancestors i'm not just talking about marcus garvey i'm not just talking about malcolm x i'm not just talking about french douglas i'm not just talking about the silent overture and that turn i'm talking about your grandmother and your grandfather. I'm talking about those personal ancestors who made a way out of no way for you, right? Who made a way to feed your family when they couldn't go in town to go to stores because this shit that's going on now is not new, family. This shit is not new, right? And our families knew how to do it. My grandmother, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if I went over my grandmother's my grandmother, grandfather, old house, and went down in the pantry and found some old ass shit stored up. You know what I'm saying? Because our our ancestors knew how to prepare. You know what I'm saying? They knew that at any given time, the balloon would go up. So we want to lift our glass to all those ancestors who 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 knew how to can and and and, and knew how to go get the free cheese and and and, and knew how to get their hustle on without necessarily breaking the law, who knew how to garden. We lift up our glass to those ancestors that knew how to take a little bit and make a lot. We lift up our glass to those ancestors that taught us to love their beans and rice because beans and rice, although it's good, is a very economical meal, family, and it gets us back to our roots. So we lift up our glass to those ancestors that taught us how to make cornbread from scratch. We lift up our we lift up our glass to our ancestors that taught us those of us that like to eat meat that may have showed some of us or may have told some of us tales about how to kill that chicken, right? We lift up we lift up our glass to those ancestors that were able to take things that other people couldn't use and make delicacies out of. We lift up our glass to our ancestors, right? Who knew how to barbecue. We lift up our glass to our ancestors who knew how to find those roots and, and herbs and make you better when you were sick. So we lift up our glass. We remember those personal ancestors, right? Because we got to, right? We lift up the glass to those ancestors that taught us how to shoot, right? Told us how to line up the site, right? We lift up the glass to those, to those, to those ancestors, right, who always had that stash, of those guns just in case we lift up the glass right of the ones who moved north because they had to escape not because they was running for their life but they had to escape the south right because of what they did in the south we lift up our glass right we toast those those personal ancestors and we remember those personal stories, that those those stories about Uncle Jack and the, the, those stories about um, those uncles and those aunts that did some incredible shit back in the time where they was lynching us. Mm. Mm. Family. We come from we come from some strong genes. The shit that's happening right now is nothing. 
right? All we got to do is start waking up these ancestors that's dwelling in our souls. So we call on them. I'm going to call on my personals. I call on Miles Brown, Ms. Ann Robert, and Texana Davis, Hunter Brown, Sydney, Rosalie, Tilly, Georgia, when you Walton, Chris, and Fanny Gass, and Eileen, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr., Herman Brown II, Alvira Brown, Katie Ellis, uh, Gina Gaines, uh, Wash Ellis Jr., I, think. I don't know if I say him. So we lift up the glass to our personal ancestors, John Fillard, Jeremiah Tappan, Jamon Jones, uh, Montague Pittman L. We lift up our glass, No More X, a Pat Ma Ra. We lift up our glass to our personal ancestors, Elder Harrison, Elder Donaldson, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon. We lift up our glass. Right? Man, Dr. Marianne Williams, Tony Clark, we lift up our glass, Mark Walsh, we lift up our glass. And we salute our ancestors. And we oh man, the old family. Man, man. Lift up our glass and we say, I say, from there we toast this moment because all of our power lies in this moment, right? Although we call on the past, we don't live in the past. Although we salute the future, we don't live in the future. Right now is our time and we lift our glass because in these moments is a time where we become the legends that our children will talk about. Either we can become the legends that our children are talking about or we be the coward that they scorn. Remember, it's about legacy, family. Right? What you gonna leave? Are you gonna leave signs of courage? Or are you gonna leave some curse shit? Right? Shouts out to Real Fake Media, my brother Dave Lee. What's up, man? Good to see you. Hey, so we toast our ancestors, family. Right? And, but we salute the now because right now is where our power lies. Right? Don't let the day slip away without you doing something incredible, without you doing something marvelous, without you doing something spectacular, without you creating. Right? Like Brother Dame be out there on, um, I haven't. He had a bottle dancing on the damn screen the other day. Like this I ain't got a bottle. He had a bottle dancing. I mean, so don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep today without doing something amazing and incredible and fantastic because that's what we come from, right? Some of us and some of us on the battlefield is incredible. I'm not I don't got it like I used to. I can still take about two or three of them down before before they get me, right? I'm talking hand to hand now, you know, with the rifle shit. Now, the, now check this out. I think it was in destruction of black civilization. Do y'all know that as Africans we had access to guns first? You know what I'm saying? We had access to guns early, but you know why we didn't take guns? Cause I, I mean, I really want y'all to think about this shit. Because at that time, for us, killing a motherfucker from a hundred yards was cowardly. This is what you come from, right? You come from a warrior. We come from a warrior people who we honestly felt that it was dishonorable to take a motherfucker out from a distance. When I took you out, I wanted to see the life leave your eyes. Damn. That's, that's some warrior shit right there, right? But you know. We dealing with an enemy that don't want war like that no more. So we need to pick up those rifles and start learning how to use those sights, right? Or better yet, better yet, we need not to learn how to use the sights. Those are the most accurate shooters, right? Those instinctual shooters. We lift up the glass to this moment. Now we move to our children. Consider how forensics interprets this. You talking about forensics far as... Uh, speech forensics or murder forensics? Cause you know you don't don't say it plain. Cause you know I'm I'm on a high right now. So uh, we salute our children, our children's children, on to infinity. Oh man, dog. Yeah. See, I mean because it was. 
we got to understand that warriorship is a is a is a is a is a very in most traditions was a very spiritual position to hold in your community. It's been a moment because I'm building on our legacy. You're officially activated line with Leah, I, bro. I, I already know, fam. I already know. You know what I'm saying? So shoot. I mean, you work and I'm working. That's how we do, fam. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. See, I'm more of an early morning person. Late night, I can't. You know what I'm saying? I used to be able to stay up, but you know, I'm gonna have to get back into it. But being a warrior was a very spiritual was a very spiritual thing for us, right? I mean, and not only just us. If you look at if you look at a lot of ancient cultures, it was something about warriorship, right? That that it was an honor to face somebody. You know what I'm saying? You respected them. This is what I used to tell my kids, and I had to stop telling them about stuff like this because they would they would start honoring these things because this shit is it it, it speaks to your soul. So they would want to look at somebody and go one on one or or, or or square up. Why? Nowadays we dealing with motherfucking wolves. You know they they operate in packs. Facts are only a lie when you don't tell the truth. Or, um, cause I'm sitting up here like family. Listen, you get up. It's something about facing another man, right? It it, it sends chills through your body, and 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 it's like another another warrior family. See drive-bys. That's this. This is when this now and now. When you look at the progress, when you look at drive-bys, right, and 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 shit like that, that comes from when you introduce when you introduce money into the whole mix because now it's about money. It's not about territory. It's not about honor. It's about money, right? And money becomes the highest value. At one point in time, a man's word was his highest value. Uh, a man's reputation was his highest value. Now a man's highest value is his money. So in order to get my money, I got to do what I have to do. It was only certain things I could do to hold on to my honor. It was only certain things I could do and hold on to my respect, to my reputation. But I'm able to do whatever the fuck I need to do to get my money. Do you understand? So this is the mind state that we got people coming up in so I could jump you right you know me and my boys could jump you about my money right um, 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 I could jump you from behind about my money right because no honor is involved there's no honor it's about money capitalism really fucked us up fam I'm just saying alright but yo so we toasting our children our children's children onto infinity and we want that we, we, we want to bring the honor back right like like we bringing health back, like health is the new gangster, right? Honor is the new money, right? I mean, because it's like, I mean, because it, it, we done lost a lot, but, but, see, and I need to be careful. Let me take that back. I want to, I, I already put it out there, but I need to kind of take it back, you know, see, because now we got to have practice honor amongst honorable people. When you dealing with a dishonorable motherfucker family, or dishonorable group, it is what it is. It is what it is. Because, you know, thank God we've been in America as long as we have because now we know we can get down with any goddamn body, really. You know what I'm saying? Good character, right? And, and But, like I said, where does it start? It starts at home. It starts at home. And you deal with people at home. But as soon as your enemy shows you how they coming at you, family? You know what I mean? Because it's kind of it's kind of a conundrum. It's kind of a conundrum. You know what I'm saying? How do you deal with an individual? How do you deal with an individual that will torture your kids? See. 
And a lot of people are like, brother, I tell you, you just, you know, I'm not just talking, I'm not just talking about who I call West Asians. And this is why you are effectively live on Iliab, libations, honor, the new wealth. Are you wealthy? Shit. Ain't that something? Are you wealthy? Ha! <laughs> Shit. Family. How do you deal with somebody who will torture your children? That shit just blows tears up in my eyes, right? Because we're dealing with an enemy that will use your children. We would have never did that shit. In our heyday, we never did that shit. But we're dealing with an enemy that don't mind. Family. So when we toast our children, our children's children, we need to know that it's our responsibility to protect them. Even from our own, because a lot of us have picked up this virus, this dishonorable virus. We run around here talking about, I'm a thug, and I'm a real nigga, and blah, 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 right? Right? Mm, you're a fucking zombie. So, I lift up our glass. As men, we lift up our glass, and we salute our children, our children's children, unto infinity, because we know it's our responsibility to protect them. And we know it's our responsibility to make sure that they are able to come into the world. They I do. They have to be. See. Right. I agree. You know what I'm saying? And that's the type of enemy we're dealing with internally and externally. Because it's money. Right? They we know they they came that right now, right now the conversation we have. Sounds like the Charlie Brown conversation with the adults. You understand what I'm saying? If a motherfucker who ain't on this frequency, when they click this shit on, it's like womp, 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 womp. really. And and if you, all of us got cousins, we all got friends that may be on that realm. Test me out and see if I'm lying or not. Cause a motherfucker with our honor cannot understand, cannot understand what we're talking about right now. Can't even hear. It's shooting right past. All right, fam. So let's finish up. You know, cause like we gotta protect these kids. My time, my time is almost up. So we gotta protect these kids. We got to build, right? So boom, we toast, and from there we move to. We did our children, our children's children, on to infinity. Now I toast you, fam. It's up for you now. Whatever, whatever things you working on, whatever struggles you may have. We ask that the ancestors help you move through it in strength, power, and joy. My fault. In peace, power, and joy. I wish you peace, power, and joy in 100 years. And as we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. All right, family, I got to go and do my video on the eclipse. So I'm going to sip this. I'm going to sip on this. And uh, this is that root beer mix. So I don't know how it's going to taste. So. It kind of leave a coat on my tongue, but it's good. All right, so I got to get on. I got to try this cake. Then I'll be on my fast for the day. I'm going to try this cake. Um, I just put this damn thing in the oven. Family, get your mind right. The eclipse is coming. Something is ending for you. Something new is starting. Something is ending for us. Something new is starting, right? Set it up. Set, set. Use the energy. Don't let it go to waste. You got the great eclipse coming on Monday. I'm trying to tell you, don't let the energy go to waste, fam. We can't, right? We got the bill. It's our time. Wake the fuck up. Um, and with that, I'm Brother Hot Tim, and I'm out. Peace. Uh, shouts out to Brother Future. Um, shouts out to Brother Hazin. Shouts out to uh, Brother Kwame. Um, true soldiers. Not far. True warriors, right? We don't need no soldier. We need warriors. Warriors of honor. Honor is the new wealth. How much? How 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 wealthy are you? Peace. <laughs>